Welcome back. We're here at White Oak Plantation with Chef John Fulce. We caught a lot of fish this year, and I know you are the best man to come to when it comes to cooking fish. Well, I tell you what, I love nothing more than to watch you on the front row. Boy, <laughs> doing that all day long, thinking, how in the heck that little girl doesn't go flying over the side. You, you got a low center of gravity. <laughs> you, so what are we it, making today? Uh, well, we're doing a great mai mai. Now, that's one of your favorite fish, it's right? It's fun. Yeah, huh? they dance on the water for Oh, you. my God, man. What a great fish too. Yeah. The dish I'm doing today is a historic dish in Baton Rouge. Uh, one of the first residents in the city of Baton Rouge was a prince, Prince uh, Achilles Murad, who had come from France, got a land grant right on Nicholson Drive, where, where, where the old uh, Prince Murad Hotel was, uh, right outside of downtown Baton Rouge. And uh, he kept all of his recipes. He loved the fish of the Mississippi, of course, mm -hmm. because that was at his front door. And he had gardeners that he had brought in from France to bring all of the dishes in. And he recorded this particular dish as his favorite, uh, this beautiful fish, Prince Murat. Uh, that we're going to cook today. So I resurrected this recipe from the 1700s. And this is also a recipe that if you can't get mahi-mahi, you can cook with speckled trout uh, or redfish or anything else. Uh, you know, I think, that, I think that's the general rule, period. Yeah. I, I, people get too hooked up on what, what, what do they have uh, in, in the cooler or what do they have in the freezer. You know what? Right. Use it. So I have my cast iron pot here. Now you have uh, uh, the mai mai in. I'm going to just let you season that okay. a little bit with the uh, salt, pepper, and I have a little granulated garlic here, which I, I like a lot. I'm going to let you uh, just kind of season that okay. uh, that nicely. And you know, we always want to put that good little uh, little, little uh, bit of, uh, that's perfect, and nicely, and rub that pepper in uh, with your hands there. I'm going to saw the sauce, and the sauce okay. is going to be, the good thing about Prince Murad, he had gardeners. So we see bell peppers of different colors, a lot of garlic, we see onions, we see mushrooms, we see all these beautiful leeks. You see this nice mm -hmm. uh, leek you were asking about that a minute ago. That's in his recipe as well. Carrots and of course artichokes. He loved that. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in this skillet over here. It might be a little easier uh, for everybody right here just to drop it in there because I'm going to saute all of those vegetables quickly. And look at our array of vegetables here just to go on a beautiful piece of fish. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what fish he'd be, what fish in the Mississippi River would he be cooking at that time, you know? If you think about it, I mean the big big channel cat, Catfish, obviously. Yep. Uh, some of those uh, maybe uh, garfish might have slipped in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna just saute that around All for right. a second. I'm gonna let you put that over there. Now I have your, uh, uh, your uh, um, uh, oil smoking and you want it smoking Pretty to hot. put that nice uh, crust. So why don't we go ahead and put that right in here. You've seasoned it nicely. And you see I'm putting it in that nice hot yes. skillet, right? You, you want, want it, it to in. sizzle. You want it to sizzle. And a lot of times people say, well, my fish breaks apart in the skillet. Uh, uh, why is that? Well, you, you, you got to let the oil dance around the fish or right. the meat and let it just crisp and cook on that side before you try to flip it over. I think people, huh? have, they get carried away with one side cooking too much and then they end up flipping it yeah. too many times and it falls uh, that, apart. And it just falls apart on it. So why don't you give me that little, uh, a little bit of stock over there. I have just a little bit, I just pull about a half a cup in there for me. That's good. I'm gonna just wet all of these carrots and mushrooms and all of that. And then right next to it, you see that cream, that heavy whipping cream over there? Oh, this one. Oh yeah, he had cattle. Put about a half a cup of that in there. Oh, that's perfect right there. And I'm gonna just cook all of this around to, to tenderize those vegetables. And again, this is typical of the 1700s because we don't eat that many vegetables today on one. That is one, one thing we lack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just uh, just kind of uh, get a few carrots or a little red, uh, white beans or red beans on the plate. They had an array of all of these different vegetables. So, what do you think about your fish? I think it's almost ready to flip. Yeah, I think it is. Why don't you go all ahead right. and grab it? And you can uh, uh, you could either do it like a fish spat or just turn it over. Look, look at that. Perfect. Huh? Now we didn't even put flour on the outside of that no, fish, right? Don't need it. Uh, you don't need it. Just got that nice crispness in. Now you want to keep the inside of it nice and moist. Uh, but at the at the end of the day, the sauce is going to go on the bottom of the plate. We're going to season this. Why don't you give me a little salt, pepper? I'll dust it in there like that, and give me that Creole mustard. See right here, mm -hmm. and I can put that in there as well. And you give me the lemon juice. So you see, the fish right is the main act. Or yeah, just put a little bit of lemon juice in there. That's perfect. That's the main act, but at the end of the day, uh, uh, the salt is going to bring the fish to fruition.
look at that right there, how beautiful that is. Yeah, and this is a common fish in Louisiana in the summertime people catch, but if you don't have mahi, you can sub it with anything. And I mentioned also we didn't dip it in a lot of milk, we didn't dip no, it in flour. No, it doesn't flour. mean much. You don't need any of that. Look how beautiful. And of course, I would put it right, I'd put like six pieces all around yeah. that sauce and, uh, and let people come and just serve a spoon of it. Beautiful. Looks delicious. We're gonna dig into some summertime mahi mahi that Prince Mirat would approve. Yeah, that'll be on my menu at Revolution before too long. I Excellent. promise you that, huh? <laughs> <laughs>